What made Stephen a great president? Well, I think what made Stephen a great president was the compassion that he had and his attention to detail. He was at the helm following my presidency, which now just seems like a lifetime ago because it was. He cared about people a whole lot, and I think that's what separated him out. Steve was like Ian Putnam. When Steve Solomon spoke, everybody listened. You know, we often talk about somebody being a pillar of a community, somebody being the foundation of an institution. But Steve Solomon gave so much to this temple that he's really in the DNA of TBMC. In fact, there wouldn't be a TBMC without Steve Solomon. There'd only be a TBE because Steve was the president who worked tirelessly um, putting together, nurturing, growing, prodding, pushing the merger between Temple Bethel and Temple Makur Chaim. So thanks to, to Steve, we have a TBMC. In fact, Steve was the last president of Temple Bethel and the first president of Temple Bethel Makur Chaim. And that's an accomplishment that no one else will be able to, to, to duplicate. What made your father such a great president? Uh, I think what made him such a good president was his devotion to the community. He really believed in the temple and the temple community. Uh, his mother was a temple secretary, so he grew up in a temple. And uh, when he was growing up, uh, his father died when he was six weeks old. And so the temple community was very important to him at that time. And they really uh, helped take care of my grandmother uh, and my aunt and uncle and my dad when he was very young. So he had a very strong belief uh, in supporting the community. Uh, he really cared a lot about what uh, the community could do for its members and the strength of the community. So I think as a president, he looked at... Uh, so as kind of a leader of the community and making sure that he was there for all members. Uh, I think also when he, he believed in fairness, uh, he was always about like what a lot of people on the board would joke about. It's always what was on the, what, what did the constitution say? Um, and he, he was all about like, how have we been instructed to follow the directions and how, and how do we continue to pass the torch, uh, for future generations to make sure, uh, that it was there. Looking back, you know, as a child when he was a president, and especially, you know, during my bat mitzvah years, he always made himself available to every congregant that called, like whether it was during dinner, which we always had dinner together, um, the phone rang and it was, you know, can I talk to Steve? It was, he would go in the other room and that, that would be the end of it. He always made himself available to anyone who wanted him. You know, if you looked up integrity in the dictionary, you know, if there were pictures, there would be a picture of my dad that he cared about doing what was right, what was honest. He never lied. He didn't understand when people did lie. Um, he just, he felt that the most important thing in life was treating people fairly and doing the right thing. And um, I can just say that I miss Steve at all the board meetings and we just missed him.